sinne peelle vaan. Oi, mä sain tuon lentokone. <laughs> Ei oo totta. Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 5 Top Plays. This video is only going to include Battlefield 5 clips. Thanks once again for Games Community for sponsoring this episode. Let's get right into it. Kicking us off with Jesus taking down enemy planes with the Panzerfaust. Three planes taken down in 40 seconds. There's a bit of a gap between the first and the second. As you can see, I've sped it up. Awesome clips, great accuracy, and a great use of that Panzerfaust against the enemy aircraft. EN98 sent in a clip, this one's on Rotterdam, and he's going to be using the sniper class to remove the enemy team from this section of the map. Great accuracy throughout in this one, this guy is a very good player. In Battlefield 1, he absolutely dominated, sent in so many clips. Looks like it's going to be the same story in BF5 as he makes his way through the enemy team, like they're not even there, taking them all down. Quick scope headshot right there as well, very, very satisfying to watch. And he also sent in a couple more clips, this one again on Rotterdam in a slightly different position looking to make use of the bit of cover he's got here and take down the enemy team. A couple more clips attached to the back of this, again from EN, enjoy. <laughs> A Battlefield 5 killstreak sent him from a fanity. He's going to be using what looks like a fully kitted out STG. The enemy team do not stand a chance. This guy is a great player and he's using a very, very good gun. Again on Rotterdam in the White House section, which is the Bravo flag. Quite fun this one, especially if you've got yourself a couple of players to keep you resupplied and then a bit of health to go around as well because you don't have a resupply station inside or at least on this upstairs part so it can be quite difficult if you're suppressing enemies and keeping them pinned down a very nice streak this one a lot of players taken down he stays alive for quite a while so i'll let it run in the background Strike immediately. A thunderbug should do it. Soldiers, we have lost objective able. That's done. It's coming. <laughs> Dissectra sent in a clip. This one is on Narvik. Again, using the STG looking to get involved in a bit of close quarters action on the Bravo flag, which is the train section of the map. Dynamite over the side of the sandbags, picking up a double kill. Another dynamite goes in, making that five in total. And then he sets to work with the STG, racking up a load of points. A nice load of skulls lining up there on the screen as well. 2,500 plus points in the streak. 
and Bravo is starting to turn for his team. Pretty much single-handedly did that. A very nice clip. And he's still going, in fact. And he goes on a bit more of a tear through the enemy team as they look to try and retake Bravo. A clip sent in from Enders on Narvik with the MP40. This guy's a great infantry player, and this is going to be a great infantry clip as he looks to push towards Charlie. Quite a decent flag, in my opinion, as long as you're not being suppressed by snipers on the other side of the map. There's a good chance no. for decent Potato. infantry play on this flag. I quite enjoy it myself. Unfortunately, he's not able to turn the flag throughout this clip because there are just so many enemy players, and his team doesn't back him up. Nonetheless, he does a great job staying alive and gets a whole load of kills. Keep an eye on my ammo right now. I saw that guy below me. Oh my god, that so feels bad, man, for that guy. Get up, buddy! Next up, a clip sent in from Sabello. He's going to be running as the medic, looking to take down a lot of players on this Echo objective. Very, very nice stuff. Making use of his secondary and then a knife later in the clip. Capping the flag and moving on to find more targets. Good show. We've taken objective easy. Next up, a clip sent in from Reyes. He's going to be playing on Rotterdam. You see that weird shadow bug in the corner there as the soldier loses all of his textures. And then he goes on a bit of a spree with the hatchet, smashing his way through the enemy team. Ollie Atlas is next, gets taken down unfortunately, looks for a fresh spawn, and as he drops in, he gets a lucky spawn and destroys everyone in his way. The penultimate clip in this week's Top Plays episode has come in from Savon Jenki. Again, Narvik, again the STG. Remember, we are looking at beta footage, so there weren't that many weapons, maps, or really situations on offer for Top Plays clips. Nonetheless, this one's quite nice. He looks to take out the tank. I don't think he actually got the tank completely, or at least the driver of it. The driver managed to escape. Nonetheless, he's got himself in a position where he can flank the enemy on to Bravo objective. He's looking to capture it for his team. Gets himself in a nice flanking position here. A couple of guys taken down. You've got to be careful as well because you run out of ammo on this game. In fact, he has to switch out to his secondary there to take down one final guy. Looks to switch out a kit and that's where the clip ends. Finally today, a clip sent in from Eros. He's going to be playing in the Stuka looking to take down the enemies with some nice bombing runs. Thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. I hope you guys are looking forward to Battlefield 5. I certainly am. Hopefully, we'll get some more awesome top plays clips getting sent in. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.